Get some sunshine in your eyes as soon as you wake up in the morning. That activates the pineal gland, the melatonin for 12 hours later when you're ready to go to bed. Get a nap in. Get an afternoon nap in and it's going to feel so rejuvenating. Naps are known to help our brains be more productive, have better memory, and all the good stuff. Experiment to get to know your body and how much sleep you actually need. Everyone is a little different. The recommendations are about seven to nine hours per night. But you know, like on the weekends, give yourself the grace of not having to wake up with an alarm. Just shut it all off, shut the devices off and see what happens. Going to bed at the same time and waking up in the morning at the same time helps regulate your sleep cycle. So it makes it easier for you to just be in that routine, getting moderate intensity exercise throughout the day at least three times a week helps with sleep at night. Try to avoid doing it before bed. Do it, do it during the day, in the afternoon, in the morning, and it's gonna help you sleep at night. Avoid stimulants like caffeine and tobacco, nicotine before bed. Uh, give yourself about four to six hours before bed to drink any alcohol, any caffeinated beverages, eat any chocolate. Avoiding a large meal before going to bed has also been shown to help sleep so that you're not suffering from indigestion. Engage in a relaxing activity before bed. Avoid devices uh, because of the light and um, avoid just stimulating activities. You want your cortisol levels to be really down and in a very nice space that you can just cuddle up and go to bed. Create a sleep friendly environment. You can use earplugs, you can use a white noise machine, you can use blackout curtains and all of the above. Temperature is also a really big deal. So the cooler it is, the better it is for us to sleep. About 60 to 65 degrees seems to work best with our bodies. Try to avoid having stimulating things in the room, like a TV, like a PlayStation, or even your devices. Don't have them in your bedroom. Lastly, try to avoid any medication for sleep. Try to employ these different lifestyle modalities and methods that we've shared here and see how they work for you. Some of them may be big adjustments for you. Take your time, be kind to yourself, and follow us for more.